Sasaji. Good morning. So you might be wondering why I'm up so early today. Well, let me tell you why. I don't know. Let's go back to sleep. Hustle, baby. By the way, that new intro you guys just saw, shout out to my boy Geeky Brackets for coming through. I will leave his YouTube channel down in the description. Thank you. Oh my god. Much better. It is 8 a.m. Tuesday, February 21st. I hope you guys are all doing super well. I've missed you guys. Today is a very special day for all Canadians living in Canada. Because McDonald's finally has all day breakfast. A lot of you guys probably already have it, but it took Canada so long to get it. So I'm kind of hyped still. What the? Oh, how does this work? Oh, beautiful. If you guys don't know, I am currently in Toronto, aka the 6th. The boy himself, Drake, actually invited me out for OVO 50's birthday next week. So he got me this place to stay out. Shout outs to him. But today's main focus is to share with you guys five ways that you've been eating McDonald's wrong. So get ready. I hope you guys are hungry. Diet Dave can yay. I need the McDonald's. There's no way I'm going outside right now. It's freezing cold. Do any McDonald's deliver? I'm cheese. McDonald's does not deliver. Ha. Uh, with the insane amount of power that the Peroidians hold, I need you guys to all work together right now and smash that thumbs up button on three. And a bunch of McDonald's is gonna appear right in front of my face. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, let's get it. Thank you, Peroidians. You came through. All right. Let's get into this. So as you can see right here, Big Dick Dave went off at McDonald's. Yo, shout outs to all day breakfast. I got the big breakfast. I got a sausage egg McMuffin. I have two apple pies, two hash browns, a very special McDouble that I will share with you guys in a second, another McDouble, a junior chicken, six chicken McNuggets, and a medium fry. Holy shit, I almost forgot. We also have an Oreo McFlurry. Number one, I've mentioned this one in a previous video, but I know for a fact there's some of you guys that still don't know this trick. You can get fresh, crispy McDonald's fries every single time you go. Isn't a buzzkill when you're craving McDonald's fries, you go buy some and guess what? They're stale, they taste like they've been sitting out for the last 20 minutes because no one's bought them. It sucks ass and I feel like no one deserves to eat shitty McDonald's fries. Like, there's such a small window where they're delicious and you should be able to have that every single time. When you're ordering McDonald's fries, just say you don't want them with salt. That's how simple it is to say no salt because usually when they make them, they add the salt right away and they let them chill in that like oven basket thing majiggy they have. And then obviously once you get your fries, hello, just add the salt then. Fresh fries every single time. This trick is pretty standard. I feel like a lot of you guys know this. Let's move on to number two. This one is called the poor man's Big Mac. So we all know the Big Mac is delicious, but it's so expensive. Who the hell has six dollars to spend on a burger? Probably a lot of people, but still, McDonald's supposed to be cheap, so you shouldn't be spending that much. So here's a hack on how to get your Big Mac for two dollars and 39 cents so when you go up to order just say this exact sentence can i get a mcdouble dressed like a mac and what that means is when they make your mcdouble they're gonna make it as if they're making a big mac except you don't get that middle piece of bun but who cares you're on a diet right i'm on a diet too screw that middle bun it's just extra carbs we don't need that so here it is in comparison here's my mcdouble dressed like a mac and then my regular mcdouble they're the same size obviously it's a little smaller than the actual Big Mac, but saving $4 for basically just getting rid of a piece of bread, I will do that every single time. I'm gonna show you guys a nice close-up of what this looks like. You see that Mac sauce in there? Where is it? Right there. 
Ooh, that sauce we all know and love. We got the lettuce, the pickles, and the cheese, of course. That's a Big Mac, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what it looks like compared to the original McDouble. They got rid of the ketchup, the mustard, because you don't want that shit on a Big Mac. This mini Big Mac is going to be delicious. But don't worry, we're saving the regular McDouble because we're going to add something from that breakfast menu, baby. Here we go, taste test. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, so good. That is absolutely delicious. You have to try this, guys. The only thing is it's not as fluffy as a Big Mac because they do use, like, the sesame bun. Uh, you could ask for the sesame bun, too. That's another freaking thing. But besides that, bam. This is a Big Mac. The next thing you guys can start doing today since all day breakfast is now available. Have you guys ever slept in and when you wake up, you're like, should I eat breakfast or lunch? Cause like, it's a little late, but I don't want to start eating lunch right away. So, but breakfast, blah, 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 blah. Now you can do both. Buy a sausage egg McMuffin, buy yourself a McDouble and make the loudest brunch sandwich of your life. Grab your egg sausage meat muffin, take the first bun on top of the egg and yeet that out of your face because you don't need that. Take your McDouble, open up the top, remove the pickles because unless you really love pickles, uh, I don't think it works with this. And then grab what's remaining of your egg sausage McMuffin and place it in the middle. Bada boom, bada bam. The loudest brunch sandwich of your life. Check this out. Out. And you know what if you're feeling extra adventurous open up the top and add a full hash brown Oh my god <laughs> This looks incredible. I don't even know what to call this guys Let's just go ahead and say this is the big dick Dave burger because look come on You definitely need a big dick to go at this. This guy's a beast. Sorry died Dave Mmm. 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 Oh no, 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 no. Why isn't this a menu item? McDonald's just sponsor me and you guys can put this on your menu. It's so good. You taste each layer at one time. Like at first, I got the crunch of the hash brown, amazing. Then I got the egg like boom, right in your face. I was like, word, I'm eating breakfast right now. The hash brown's a game changer, you have to have it. Oh my God, I need another bite before I move on. Mm. Mm, I'm so happy, but I know I'm so fat. The next thing I'm about to do might change your life. So if you live in Canada, get yourself a junior chicken. It's basically a McChicken in America, but the chicken is a little on the spicy side. But besides that, it's the same burger. Chicken McNuggets. You see where I'm going? This definitely deserves a close up. So open up both of the things, your chicken McNuggets, your junior chicken or McChicken. Add mo, mo more chicken. Three pieces should fit perfectly. Then get your sweet and sour sauce or whatever sauce you like to dip your McNuggets in. My mouth is watering, guys. Not too much though. You don't want it to be like overpowered with sweetness. Oh my God. Now we have not only a nice spicy filet of chicken on the bottom, but you got three crispy chicken nuggets on top. Close her off. <sighs> This is a junior chicken or a McChicken on roids. That's what we're calling it. Not gonna lie, out of everything I've said so far, this is the one I'm most excited for because you're not doing something crazy. You're just adding to something that's already good. Here we go. It's a banger. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. I changed my mind. Do not go light on the sauce. It actually needs more. The nuggets will soak it all in. Like, I just added the entire thing of sweet and sour. It looks a little bit too soggy, but I say nay nay. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 This is perfection. Try this one today. Stop this video. Go to McDonald's and get this creation, please. And tweet it to me and let me know how good it was. The last thing I wanna share with you guys is directed to all my sweet tooth parodians. It's called the Pie McFlurry and you can go about it two different ways. The first way is more savage way. When you're ordering your McFlurry, you ask them, can you put an apple pie 
inside the McFlurry before you blend it up in the machine. So it blends the pie right in there. Or you can go the second route, which is way easier in my opinion, and the employees won't look at you weird. You take your apple pie and you just start ripping little chunks of it. In, you know what? Open the lid, then just break little pieces of the pie right into your McFlurry. And then you can literally just mix it into the McFlurry yourself or just grab a bite of both. Like grab some ice cream, grab some apple pie. Oh my God. This might be better than the junior chicken with the McNuggets. Holy shit. Mm. And once you've had all the apple pie on the top, just break some more into it. You can get two apple pies for $1.50. This is a, an absolute game changer. Your fingers get really messy though, but YOLO. I know it doesn't look too pretty, but just close your eyes and eat it. All right, I've gained five pounds doing this video. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I need to go hit the gym. I'm not hitting the gym. I'll do a push up or something, you know, right here. Let's go. We're good. Let me know in the comment section below if you want more fast food hacks at like a different store. Maybe Wendy's, Burger King. I'm down if you guys want to see that. But until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Hashtag Rotate 3 million. Peace.